Today we're checking out the new Endura silicone rubber tire inserts for one inch wheels. These are an inexpensive, waterproof, and functional alternative to your standard foams. I got two different compounds here. We got a soft and we got an extra soft. We're gonna open both of these up. We're gonna check them out, see how they feel. We're gonna put both of these in a set of tires and then we're gonna run them both back to back to see how they perform. Now I've tried these in the 1.9 size and they work really, really well. So I'm super excited to see how they do in the one inch size. So let's not waste any time. Let's open these up and check them out. Here are the inserts here. So like I said, I got two different compounds right now. At the time of this recording, these are available in just these two compounds. Yellow is super soft, green is soft. First impressions, they feel really nice. They are indeed soft. They are much softer than I was expecting. They've got great conformity, really squishy from a vertical standpoint. With these inserts, these type of inserts, you really want that lateral support. The idea is that you can maintain your conformity from the top of the tire and on the edges, but you want that lateral support for stronger sidewalls. Really beneficial in bigger tires, which is what these are made for. The green feels really nice. It's got a great feel to it. The yellow is so soft, it almost felt like a wet noodle when I picked it out of the bag. It was very, very, very soft. Much softer than I was expecting. This is so soft, the compound on this insert is so soft, it almost negates the purpose of one of these inserts. Although I do guess you still maintain the waterproof benefit of this. But it is very, very soft and pliable much, much more so than I was expecting. Both of these are designed to fit a one inch wheel. Tire range is 62 to 64 millimeters in height and 24 millimeters wide. That's gonna work perfectly with your Endura tires like the Swamp Claws here or their Rock Terrains, but these will also fit a variety of other big tires in the market, like the majority of Little Guy Racing Parts tires, Swamp Kings, Trail Kings. So I'm excited to try these out. So I think we're gonna put these, we're gonna use the Tarantula as our demo vehicle because it's pretty heavy. So I wanted something with some weight in it to test the lateral strength of these inserts. I think we'll try them on the swamp claws here. We'll do one at a time. I'm gonna start with the soft, the green inserts. I'm gonna throw these in these tires. We'll do a demo run and then we'll try the super soft ones and see how they both do back to back. So I'm gonna get to installing these and I'll circle back with you guys when it's done. All right guys, real quick, I'm almost done with the swap here. I've swapped over three of the tires to the green inserts. I've got one left. But before I did, I just want to show you a real quick comparison of these in the tires. So this is the one with the green insert in it. Here's the one with the foam. Anecdotally, I can tell you that with the insert, much heavier, noticeably heavier with the silicone insert in it than the foam. But what's really, really interesting is that feeling these things outside of the tire, they feel extremely soft. Inside the tire though, they feel very stiff. This is is on a vented wheel and these are vented tires and it's still very, very stiff. Not very stiff, but much more stiff than I was expecting. It is stiffer than the foam that was in the Swamp Claws prior. This is really difficult to show on a video, but I can certainly tell you it is noticeably stiffer than the stock foams. You do get great lateral support in here you do get good conformity. You do have to press pretty hard to get those things to collapse though. Really, really interesting. So I'm thinking that the extra soft is gonna be my go-to because I'm looking forward to trying that one next. So I'm gonna wrap up this swap and then we'll see how these perform on the course. But just wanna show you guys that real quick. One more thing guys, then I promise I'll finish this swap. I, I gotta weigh these things to see if my intuition was wrong here. So here's the wheel and tire with the foam insert. 30 grams in total there. Here we are with the green silicone insert. 43, so I was not imagining things. 13 grams heavier with the new inserts. So if we weigh the inserts themselves, we'll get an idea if there's a difference between the super soft and the soft. 14 grams with the green. 14, oh, 13 with the yellow. Not much difference, but the super soft are one gram lighter. On the course with the green inserts, let's give it a shot. I'm gonna be looking for sidewall support and also conformity in these tires.
not a lot of squish there if you can see that those tires aren't moving much Still lots of grip though. This tarantula is a monster. Over here is a good off camber section. See if we can demonstrate some sidewall support. No flex in those things at all there. up into mini Moab swamp claw struggling a little bit here Again, you see there's just no fold in those tires whatsoever. The tarantula is a heavy, heavier build. Lots of brass on this and clinging on for dear life here. Oh, hand of God. I feel like these green inserts are going to be for a really heavy truck. Good grip though, getting us up through there, no problem. About some side hill coming across the chute here. Yeah, no tire flex whatsoever. I take a really gnarly line there, no problem. Tarantula making quick work of Hell's Gate. So driving impressions with the green inserts. For my taste, I feel like they're a little stiff. I'd like to see more conformity in the tires. So why don't we go up through the canyon one last time here and then we'll swap these out and put the yellow inserts in to see how those work. Okay, here we are with the yellow super soft inserts. I can tell you from installing these and feeling the tires afterwards, these are gonna be my go-to. Much, much softer, great conformity in the tires. We'll see how they perform, but on the bench they felt really, really good. to tell on camera if they're squishing anymore you can see a little bit there yeah a little bit more conformity there more along the lines of what I was looking for I feel like they grip better could be my imagination you have to let me know in the comments felt like it got up the canyon a lot better that time Still good sidewall strength, no roll there. We struggled a bit on the escalator last time. Let's see how it does with these ones. I didn't, I was hoping to fly right up there. I guess not. Again, I do think it made better work of that section than it did with the stiffer inserts.
same with that. I don't feel like I had the same understeer. Let's try the side hill. So again, I'm not seeing hardly any tire flex here with these super soft inserts. So I feel like we get all the benefits of the stiffer insert, but lots more conformity and more traction. Another smooth run up Hell's Gate. You know where I feel like the green inserts will really work well is on the brass wheels. I have a set of the brass Enduro wheels that are really heavy. Those might be a perfect match there. But for the Tarantula build here and this setup, I think the super soft inserts are pretty much perfect. It's got just the right amount of squish and conformity that I like. Still maintains that sidewall strength. I like them. I have to get them outdoors to test them. And it's at nighttime right now. I don't have the time this week to get out on the rocks, but I will this weekend hopefully. But I had pretty good showing by the tarantula with these yellow inserts. I think these are the ones. So as you can see from the run footage, I feel like personally that the yellow inserts are the way to go, especially on the tarantula build. I feel like we saw noticeable performance gains over the green inserts. We got a lot more conformity, good traction, but still maintain that good sidewall strength. I do think the green ones will work great in a heavier rig, something with a hard body or a lot of weight on it. The brass wheels, like I said, could really benefit from these green ones. But for a stock or lightly modified truck, I definitely recommend the softer yellow inserts. But overall, I like these inserts. For 12 bucks, it's hard to go wrong with these things. I'll put the link in the description for these inserts if you want to pick them up. And remember, you can use my discount code to save 5% on all things at Endura.com. And let me know in the comments down below, what do you think of the Endura inserts? And if you've tried them, let me know if you got the same impressions that I did. And as always, I appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so. And I'll see you in the next video.